So the first time I came to Hua Lampong, I realized that I'd probably found the dream, the perfect photography location um, in Bangkok. There's always interesting stuff going on there. There's always interesting people sitting around waiting for trains. And the great thing about it as a photographer is that it's kind of, it's stress-free. You know, I shoot a lot in markets. I shoot a lot on the street where there's always a lot going on. There's always a lot going on around you and you're kind of getting in people's way. Whereas here, you can take your time. The, the atmosphere is very, very calm. You can take your time with compositions. And it's also a good place to come, I think, to, if you've got a new bit of photography gear, like you've got a new camera or you've got a new lens or something, it's a good place to come and try it out. It's a good place to play around with different compositions and, and different techniques as well. So it's, and you've also got, on the different platforms, you've got different types of light. So what I, what struck me about Hua Lampong the first time I came here was that it kind of, it kind of looked what I always imagined the ideal railway station to look like when I was a kid. You know, when you read books about railway stations as a kid or TV shows or films, you have this image in your head of what a railway station should look like. Um, and that's what Hua Lampong looked like to me. You know, these, these traditional old platforms, these really old trains that we, that we see around us, like behind me here, the sort of dome roof out in the, out in the ticket hall. It's just for me, the archetypal railway station, everything that a railway station should look like. The main thing about the project now is that it kind of serves as a bit of a, a time capsule, I guess, what with Hua Lampong closing down soon and being replaced by the new station at, uh, at Bangsu. So hopefully the book will kind of serve as a collection of memories of people who love the station. So it's basically photographs of the final, I think, six or seven years that Hua Lampong was, was operational. So like a lot of photo projects, I wasn't meant to be a project when I began shooting here. Um, but I guess the, the news that the station was closing made me want to put all the pictures together, you know, boil it down from uh, however many thousand pictures I've taken here down to about 60 or 70, and then have that, I guess, serve as a, a time capsule for future generations. Because obviously the station will be permanently closed soon. So for people to look back on and remember what a great place this was.